I notice a squirrel with a long tail. I notice a squirrel with an acorn in her mouth. I notice a squirrel standing on her hind legs. I notice little flowers growing on the grass. I notice many acorns with only their tops. I notice a salamander on a leaf. I notice a wasp's nest under a roof. Good morning, my environmental detective friends. Looking forward to doing some new investigations and detective work with you. Let's go find clues right here in our own neighborhood environment. Welcome, my detective friends. So excited to see you here today. My name is Christina. For these shows, you're gonna call me Sunshine. I love going outside. The sunshine is one of my favorite things in the world, and that's what we're going to explore. But let's begin with, where are we? We, get your pointer fingers ready, we are in this amazing state of California. Make the shape with me. This is our state. And inside the state of California, we are in this location right here called Marin County. Say it with me. So what I'm going to ask you to do is go, well, where in Marin County am I? Because we're all connected. And I know that before, you were in this beautiful place called Walker Creek which is right here in Marin County. And there, I know that you saw a lot of trees and you saw different animals. You, right now, where I am, is in this place called San Rafael. And we're at an elementary school called Bahia Vista. And in San Rafael, we are located near the bay and we're also located near the ocean where that's near Walker Creek. So in the town, the county of Marin County, and we are in San Rafael. In episode one, I know you spent the time using your observation skills as environmental detectives, focusing on your senses. And you really looked at these five senses that you practiced when you went outside. So let's review what those are. We are going to continue with those senses today. So one of the t senses that you discussed was taste which we also say gasto in Spanish. You also looked at what you smell or olfato. And you also looked at what you see or vista. And we also talked about what you hear, oído. And the best one, what you could feel, what you touch or tacto. So we're gonna continue using our senses in our next adventure together. Today, we're going to be focusing on our observation skills around what we see, and we're going to be focusing our observation skills around what we hear. And we're going to be targeting those things that we see in our neighborhood. For example, a critter that we call a squirrel. Yes, you heard me, the squirrel. What I know all of you have seen in your neighborhood running around on those fences and hopefully you also saw while you were in Walker Creek, and I'm hoping that you see them in your neighborhoods in San Rafael, or maybe you're up in Novato, or maybe you're down in Mill Valley. But we're gonna be looking at the squirrel. Let's take a moment to go back to Walker Creek, to Alpine, where we're going to practice our detective, our environmental detective skills, how we really pay attention to close detail. And we're going to do that through sevens. I believe that he went through rounds one through four with you last time. So we're going to review rounds one through four with Alpine. And he's going to add on round five. Really zone in on your environmental detective skills and how you pay attention. Hello, environmental detectives. It's Alpine at Walker Creek Ranch. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've been able to get out into your neighborhoods and do some noticings, maybe using your eyes to see some things, and maybe you've been listening to things, and um, maybe you've done some observations. Uh, I wanted to share with you the next stage of our sevens game, 
we had learned stage one through four. Today, I want to teach you stage five. So we're going to start off by practicing stage one through four first, and then I'll teach you stage five. So stage one, if we remember, remember we do all the stages two times. So we do all the stages two times. So let's do stage number one. Here we go. We're just hitting our laps on stage number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Stage two has a clap in it. It goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try stage one and two together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Very good. So now let's go to stage three. And it has has a snap in stage three. It goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's let's try the three stages together. Here we go. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Phase three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. So stage four goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Try that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try all four stages together. Starting with stage one, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. up to and stage five is my favorite stage it goes like this one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven let's try it one more time one two three four five six seven all right here we go we're gonna try all five stages together ready begin one Stage two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stage three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stage four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stage five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job, everyone. I hope that you're having fun. Um, remember to get outside, explore, have fun, and be safe. See you next time. Bye. Welcome back. How are those sevens? Did you get them down? Well, now we're going to get ready to go out to our sit spot. And this is somewhere that you're going to be going to every day. And this is somewhere that you're going to be doing and using these environmental detective skills. So join me. We're going to be going out to the garden at Bahia Vista. And we're going to find our sit spot. And we're going to make our peace there and enjoy our outdoors. Go out with me. I'll see you there. <sighs> Welcome to the beautiful Bahia Vista School Garden. We're finding our sit spots. 
So I looked around, I found a spot where I was comfortable sitting. I thought about standing, but I chose to sit. And when we find our sit spots, we're gonna take three deep breaths. And while we're taking those three deep breaths, we wanna make sure that we, uh, we check in with our feelings. We're gonna use our feeling tree. So thinking about those feelings and while we're breathing, so I'm gonna take my deep breaths in and I'm gonna breathe out maybe the stresses that I'm feeling, maybe I have some frustrations and I'm gonna let that go and I'm gonna breathe it out. And then I'm gonna take a deep breath in and I'm gonna bring in that strong positive energy and my intent for being out here. So I want you to join me with those three deep breaths, thinking about what you're letting go and thinking about what you're bringing in. Now that I have a sense of calm and being out here, I can hear the wind whooshing by me. There's a rustling. I can feel it on my skin too. I'm also hearing a buzz of a bee with these flowers that are behind me. It makes me want to stay away, but I'm so curious. I want to get closer. Those are bright orange flowers. Makes me think of a sunset, maybe a piece of a fish that might be that same color, but it's really bright. It's a bright orange, I would say. So I'm gonna write that in my notebook, put it in my head, and then I'll take some time to think about it. Lots of observations. Welcome back. How does that feel? I know I feel a sense of calm and a whole sense of peace and an intent of observation skills going to work. So now, I'm gonna use those environmental detective skills and we're gonna watch a video about the squirrel. And while you're watching the squirrel, I want you to focus on what you see. I want you to really pay attention. What are you seeing? Everything that's there. This is where you want to be recording it in some way. You can write it, you can draw it, you can act it out, act like a squirrel while you're watching the squirrel but I want you to be observing everything that you can with your eyes. Let's see this squirrel. How great was it to see that squirrel? One of the things, we're so lucky to have friends that take care and really look to how they can help animals that get hurt. That video that you saw was provided to us by our friends at Wildcare. Wildcare is an organization in San Rafael that really focuses on how can they help animals that get hurt. I'm very appreciative to have friends that do that and that give us videos so we can look at them. So now that you've collected all these ideas, I'm wondering, do we have many of the same ideas? So I was also making a list while we were watching it. Here's what I want you to do. When we go through the words, if you have that same word, I want to see a connector, maybe a thumbs up. How do I know we have the same words? Let me know. If you see a word that you like, or if I see a word that you have that I want, I'm going to write it down. I get some of the best ideas from the other people I get to work with. So here are some of the observations that we had. When we were looking at the squirrel, did you see, was he inside a cage? How about those nuts rolling around? Did you see the tail? The cast on the flag or the foot? The branch. Furry, I know how many of you have furry. I can see so many thumbs ups out there. Gray, brown, quick. How many of you can move as quick as a squirrel? I know you can. I've had you in my class before. Skittish? Yeah, for sure. Jumps? 
and runs. So many things that we saw. Can you add to your list? I want to hear what your list does too so I can add to mine. But while I was watching it, I think there's some things I might have missed. As an environmental detective, it works to go back to that sit spot again and look again. Let's watch that video again, but this time, I want you to focus on what you hear. So if you need to close your eyes and watch the video, I want you to focus on what you hear. Let's watch it again. Did you get a lot of new ideas? I'm curious to hear them. While you're writing down your final thoughts, I just wanted to share that wild care, you know, it's really important to know that squirrels are part of the wild and we wouldn't keep them as pets. So part of the reason we're seeing it in a cage is that they're taking care of this squirrel, helping it to get better so that it can be released back into the wild so that you can observe it from your sit spot. So that's the goal of wild care, is that they're able to take these animals in, take care of them, and put them back in the wild so that you can observe them. So I want to see if you can draw a squirrel, add all these ideas. Okay, let's go back and see what your new thoughts are. So I asked you to look at the video, and I asked you to look at the video through the lens of what did you hear? So I'm curious how your ears went to work and how you heard. Did you hear those rustling leaves? How about the scratching? Oh, I know, look at that, I can see you guys all scratching. That's a great sound for your parents at home. The swish, it's a calming sound for the sitting spot. Or the wooing. I don't even know if that's how I spell it right, but it's what I heard, so I just wrote it down. Wooing, because I heard like a wooing. Tapping, consistent tapping. There's also patting. There is a difference between those two sounds. Could you hear it? Or the ticking. I have a thing for hearing that tick, 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 tick. But sometimes when we're observing, it's not just what we hear or what we see. It also might be what we feel. You might have gotten feelings that came while you were watching, but maybe you're thinking about the people who are caring for the squirrel. Maybe it's, are they worried? Is there a concerned feeling? Empathetic? Connected? disturbed. I know I had questions when I saw the cage. That's why I love hearing what wild care does. It helped me. Thankful and appreciative. Do you have some new ideas to add to your list? Because what do we do with these lists now? Let's find out. So now we have all these great words and um, observations that you made while you were observing the video. And this is a way that Environmental detectives can communicate with other people when you have all these words and you're able to express them and use them with other folks. So for example, we were focusing on the squirrel. And so the squirrel, that's a noun, and that's our person, place, or thing. It's, a, it's our squirrel. So everything that we do right now is going to be around the squirrel. And so let's think about the words that you found that help to tell us what the squirrel looked like. Do you see any words on here that might show us what the squirrel looked like? Like I see furry, and I might go, ooh, that word shows me how it's so furry. It was all soft and furry on the outside. Can you feel how soft and furry? Although we would never touch a squirrel, just your eyes. And it was skittish. It moved so quickly, it was skittish. So I might go, ooh, that was skittish. How do I make that move? They were moving so quick, those squirrel, that squirrel. Here's another one that shows what it looked like. It was gray, that color of gray. Can you think of all the different things that you know that are gray? That squirrel had the gray. We have brown, all these words that help to describe the squirrel and the rustling of the leaves, how the leaves moved. And the sound we heard was that rustling sound. And then how we might have felt, or maybe the squirrel was worried about its leg. 
We might be worried or concerned or empathetic. That's a big word. Empathetic. Let's say it together. Empathetic. Empathetic. And that's a word that how we feel when we understand how another person might feel, how we can connect that way. So these are words that describe the squirrel and all the actions that they do. The squirrel was jumping. Jump with me. Will you jump with me? The squirrel was jumping. It jumps. It also runs. Let's run in place. The squirrel runs. How would it rustles? Those were how the leaves were moving. They were rustling. And then these are, it was swishing. It kind of moved side to side, swishing. Or maybe it was scratching. Can we see the scratching? Scratching. You might even make that sound. All these words are verbs that show the action. And then these adverbs, that helps to describe those verbs. How he was, he jumps quickly, so fast, quickly. Or cautiously, it's the opposite of quickly, slowly, carefully, or curiously, having questions. And then this is the prepositional phrase. It describes where the squirrel was, where the action was taking place. Inside a cage, under the leaves, under the feet. That's a big idea to understand. If this is something and I'm under it, show me that. Under. We're under something. We're near the nuts, so close to it, near the nuts. And under the branch or over the branch. So we have under the branch. We have over the branch. So we're going to do this together as a song. Let's sing it together. And it goes, Adjective, adjective, noun. Adjective, adjective, noun. Adjective, noun, verb. Adverb, prepositional phrase. Should we try that again? Adjective, adjective, noun. Adjective, adjective, noun. Adjective, noun, verb. Adverb, prepositional phrase. So let's do that together with some of these words together. We can go with furry and gray will be our first ones. And then we can go with jumps, since we saw him jumps. And it was so quickly inside the cage. Furry, furry, gray. Furry, furry, gray. Furry gray squirrel jumps quickly inside a cage. Let's try that one again. Furry, furry gray. Furry, furry gray. Furry gray squirrel jumps quickly inside a cage. I want you to try writing some of these sentences using your different parts of speech about the squirrel. That's a way to add to your notebook. Wow, those are so many great words, so many ways to express the ways that you saw squirrels. I really can't wait for you to share those with me so I can see the kind of words that you chose to describe your squirrel and what it looked like. So as you're thinking about that squirrel, I want you to remember that those squirrels are everywhere here in Marin County. And these are places that you live. You live throughout this whole county. These are your neighborhoods where you're going to see the squirrel. So let's get a song. I want you to stand up and I want you to get loose because we're going to use our body to remind ourselves where we might be in this great county. And we're going to use our directions. We're going to have our east, west, north, and south. And that's what you can see here. East, west, north and south. So when you're standing, well, that's what we're going to remember, that this is the east, and this is the west. And this is called a repeat after me song. It's definitely one that I would have done in my outdoor life and world. So you're going to repeat after me. You might hear some voices in the background who sing with me who are being your voices with you. Are you ready? All right, let's go. I said from east to west. Exploring outdoors is the best. 
I said from east to west. Exploring outdoors is the best. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Yeah, that was so good that this time I want to hear your voices. I want you to be so loud that I can hear you all the way across the county so that we can sing the song together. So again, stay standing, loosen up your legs, and let's move. Five, six, seven, eight. I said from east to west. I said from east to west. Exploring outdoors is the best. Exploring outdoors is the best. I said from east to west. Exploring outdoors is the best. Exploring outdoors is the best. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Nice job. We'll do that again sometime. So now it is your turn to go outside and do your daily ritual of sitting in your sit spot. So you have three things that we want you to do every day. First, sit in your sit spot. Find your place. Two, we want you to record those ideas. Maybe it's in a notebook. Maybe it's in your mind and you put it in the computer. Record your thoughts. Third, we want you to send us what you're doing. Right here, you can send your notes. You can send photographs. You can send your drawings. We want to see the work that you're doing outside because we just want to build that curiosity and use your observation skills. See you next time. I wonder why the fur on the squirrel's tail is longer than the fur on her body. I wonder how the squirrel eats the acorn. I wonder why the squirrel only stands on her hind legs sometimes. I wonder why some grasses have flowers and others don't. I wonder why animals only eat part of the acorn. I wonder why the salamander looks wet if it's not in water. I wonder how wasps make a nest. <laughs>